In this overview of some of the new collections management features, we're going to start in an email that I received. And this email was actually generated by Reporting Services. Using Reporting Services, you can set up emails to be sent out on a schedule. In this case, I'm getting a list of customers with their aging details that I'm interested in. I can click on Alliance Systems to open up a report to get some more detail on Alliance Systems. And in that report, I will get their aging, their current 31 to 60 days aging, and the stacked bar graph is actually color coded as well so I can see invoices are disputed, how much is promised to pay. I can also see a payment trend history, the red bars being their payment trend over time, the yellow bars being payments. It's very easy to see if the customer's payments are trending one way or the other. I've also got a list of all the open invoices here and down at the bottom I've got all of my collections notes and all my contact back and forth with the customer. One of the new features with collections management is the ability to view invoices that weren't generated from dynamic sales order processing or invoicing. I've got an invoice here that was generated by one staff which is our integrated staffing system built into Microsoft Dynamics GP. I can click on that. It's actually a hyperlink that's going to open a PDF invoice which is stored in SharePoint. And I can see, again, since this was generated by a time and billing system, I'm able to attach the timesheet and the expense information and automatically attach those to the invoices when they're sent. So hopefully this gives you a good view of what you can do with some of the new features in collections management on how you can automatically hyperlink back to invoices and customer information and aging details without having to talk to someone in the accounting department.